G'day and welcome. Today we're going to show you how to use the Levosiraptor Gen 2 to unlock your specialized e-bike. This will work on any specialized bike that has this TCU or the new Mastermind TCU with the screen that we'll imagine is right here in my hand. So it'll work on the Kinevo, the Levo, the Vardo SL, the Creo SL and the Levo SL and any specialized that has this TCU or the Mastermind TCU mounted up here in the top tube. It's really easy to install. So here it is, the Gen 2 Levosiraptor. All we're going to need is a T10 Torx. Okay, before we zoom up and show you how to do it, we'll talk a little bit about the Levosiraptor Gen 2 and what it can do. So it can remove or raise the 25 km per hour limit all the way up to 72 km per hour. It has five settings that you can choose via a Bluetooth app available on iOS and Android, which we'll discuss at the end of the video after we've shown you how to install it. There's also a bunch of additional options that you can have, such as restoring the unlock to 25 km an hour after a crash, and some other features when paired with the Belevo app. Okay, here we go. This is the TCU. It's a T10 Torx bolt. Just pop that out. Be careful not to drop that in your frame or you'll be cursing yourself as you try and shake it out holding the bike upside down. Just pop out the Levosiraptor. Now you can see there's two cables connecting to the TCU. Of course I meant pop out the TCU when I pulled that out. If we just separate it a little bit we'll see this one's black on the inside. If we do the same to this one, it's green. Now the green is the one we want so we'll tighten the black up Pop open the green and you can see it's a keyed connector, it can only fit one way. So we'll grab our Levosiraptor. And you can see here the Levosiraptor has plugs that are also green to match the motor plugs. So you take the wire from inside the frame, you connect it to the corresponding wire on the Levosiraptor. You do the same with the wire from the TCU. There's some handy little arrows on the plugs to help you line them up. Okay, now you're plugged in. You pop the Levosiraptor into your down tube. And just wiggle the wires about until you get them in. Slot your TCU down. Okay, simple as that. We can turn the bike on and we'll turn it off and turn it back on just to make sure it's all calibrated after our install. Now the bike is unlocked, in our case, to 57 kilometers an hour. This is the default setting on the Levosiraptors that we're selling. And we can also adjust it with the Bluetooth application that we'll show you now. So there's the Levosiraptor app, which is currently available on Android as of July 1st, 2021. It's not currently available on iOS. If you're on iOS, you can download the Belevo app. It's a paid app. It costs around $13. It has a variety of features as well as being able to control the Levosiraptor chip. So we'll show you those features and talk about them. We probably won't get through all the Blevo features in this video because there's quite a lot. But uh, the Levosiraptor app, that's basically just to control the Levosiraptor, whereas the Belevo app is almost a replacement for mission control that you can use once you've got a chip in your bike and you don't have to worry about mission control showing you incorrect speeds and all that data in there. Bear in mind, if you have a Mastermind TCU with that cute little screen, it will show incorrect speeds and distances once you've put the Levosiraptor chip in your bike. First things first, we'll go to the Play Store. Search Levosiraptor. So I've already got the app. So I open it up. It's going to scan for the Levosiraptor. It's automatically connecting, so I've connected before, and you can see mine is set to 57.5. Now I can turn this dial down to 
25, no change, or a number of other speeds, 28, 43, and 71.9. You can set a password if you like, and you can update the Levis Raptor when there's new firmware through this app. Okay, in this case, this is the Belevo app, B-L-E, Evo. <clears throat> B-L-E-V-O, as in B-Leave, Levo, sort of. So here's the Belevo app. This is what it looks like. It's got a variety of settings. So this is the bike monitor. So this is sort of the mission control settings where you can adjust your power levels and modes and you can adjust your speed compensation factor here. This allows Belevo to show you accurate speed in the application even when your bike has the Levo Raptor installed. You can go to the battery monitor. It's gonna tell you the details of your battery too. You can see all these details of my particular bike. Now if we go to bike monitor, this allows us to start a ride and it will record all the details of our ride if we want those and stuff like that. I haven't tried that but I am going to do have a go with that to show how it works and the sort of data you get in future. Now Levosraptor there, I can click it and I can configure the Levosraptor, it's automatically telling me my speed correction factor in this app. So here we go, here's all the data from the Levosraptor, you can see uh, all the settings here. It's got crash detection so it can detect that I've crashed and it can actually set the unlock speed back to 25 if that's a feature that interests you. So to add the Levosraptor like I've got, you go configuration and you go Bluetooth device scan and you click scan for Levosraptor. So I'll forget mine and I'll scan for Levosraptor There it is up there, click it. Now I'm connected to my Levosraptor. If I go back, you can see it's connected again, back, and there it is there, Levosraptor. There's a forum about Blevo, which can show you all the details, and there's a following of all the people that use the app, if you wanna know more.